Welcome to Electra Online. Here's a second example of how to solve a one-dimensional uh, motion problem using the graphical technique. Here we have an airplane taking off from an aircraft carrier going from 0 to 175 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. What is acceleration? And let's convert the answer to g's as well. And of course, since we're dealing with miles per hour, we probably want to go to feet per second. And so let's see here. Uh, 175 miles per hour, if we convert that to feet, so we have feet at the top, miles at the bottom, and one mile is 5,280 feet, and then we also have to convert from hours to seconds, so we need seconds at the numerator, hours in the denominator, one hour, 3,000 uh, let's take that back all the way around. We want hours in the numerator because we want to get rid of hours. We want seconds in the denominator. So one hour is 3,600 seconds. So we have 175 times 5280 divided by 3,600 and we get 256.7, 256.7, that would be feet per second. So that airplane accelerates from zero to 256.7 feet per second in 2.5 seconds. What is the acceleration? So we're going to solve that by drawing an acceleration versus time graph. And so let's assume constant acceleration. So there's constant acceleration for a period of 2.5 seconds. So time is 2.5 seconds and acceleration is equal to whatever the acceleration is, what we're looking for. Now we have the area underneath this graph, let's call the area A, and of course the area represents, on an acceleration versus time graph, area is equal to the velocity that it gains during the acceleration, velocity. Which means that the area, which is equal to the width times the height, and the width would be 2.5 seconds, and the height would be equal to the acceleration that we're looking for, and the area is equal to the velocity that we reach, which we know is 256.7, 256.7 feet per second, which means that the acceleration in this equation is equal to 256.7 feet per second divided by 2.5 seconds, that means we have an acceleration equal to, divide this by 2.5, and we get 102.7 feet per second square. So that would be the acceleration of that aircraft on that aircraft carrier. Now, converting that to g's, what we need to do then is we need to take 102.7 feet per second square times, converting to g's, of course, 1g, uh, in terms of feet per second squared, 1g is 32 feet per second squared, that's the conversion. So we take that, divide by 32, and we get 3.2 g's, 3.2 g's, which means that when a pilot takes off from an aircraft carrier, that pilot experiences 3.2 g's, which is faster than most of the amusement rides in the amusement parks, the, the big accelerator and the amusement parks, that would be a faster acceleration coming off the deck of an aircraft carrier. But again, the technique simply is drawing an acceleration versus time graph. The area represents velocity. So the area, which is the velocity, equals the width times the height. The width is time, and the height is acceleration. And that allows us to find the acceleration using this graphical technique. It's pretty slick. So if you're interested, I have a lot more examples to show you in the videos to come.